the I Can See You music video featured Taylor Swift Museum from Speak Now era, so let's dive in and identify all the outfits and props that we can. What's going on Swifties? Lisa here and first of all, thanks so much for watching my first decoding and Easter eggs video. You all got it to number 18 on the trending page, which is pretty wild, but I wanted to do a second one just kind of focusing on the outfits and stuff that were in that kind of vault museum scene. I'm going to call it the Speak Now Taylor Shrine. I know I mentioned some of the specific outfits in that other video, but let's just place them all here. And I know that the video is full of 1989 Easter eggs and I wore a sweater for that album last time, but this time we're showing Rep some love here because it seems we're, we're getting clues for both of them and people are kind of like, mm, could they both be dropping at once, which would just make my mind explode. Also, just another update for the I Can See You music video. If you were wondering, you know how at the beginning of the video the time said July 9th, 1.38 a.m.? Well, that video was updated yesterday, or I guess Sunday, to say July 9th, 1.58 a.m. to have the right time that matches the lyrics to Last Kiss. Now we know Taylor's made revisions to music videos before and because she's so big YouTube has ways that they can just switch out a video keeping the same URL not losing any views for big people like that and so I think that's what they did here but the question is was it meant to always be changed like that or was this an error that nobody caught until all of us started pointing it out. Now for the shrine part, I do have to say it was a little frustrating from a continuity standpoint because it seemed like the same dress would be popping up at all angles after they walked by and you just couldn't really tell what, where people were and if you'd seen the same dress at the same, like before. Um, but I do think that there were multiples of dresses in there because obviously when she's on tour, she doesn't just have one dress. They have to have a couple of the same dress so that she can switch them out while one's getting cleaned and stuff like that. So I think there were multiples of the same kind of dresses, especially like the haunted dress in that museum, which probably made it even more confusing at times. But let's start out with the obvious outfits and props that I feel like most people would get right away. And yes, many are from the Speak Now tour. There's obviously the one that she's actually wearing, which is a dress she wore to open the tour with Sparks Fly and mine complete with the black boots. Then one of the most recognizable outfits is the purple dress and shoes she wore on the tour when she'd perform songs like Speak Now, Last Kiss, Dear John, You Belong With Me, and her cover songs on the B stage with that tree, you know, and the iconic fish guitar. Now right next to that one is the red dress from Better Than Revenge from the tour. Across from the purple dress is the tour dress and shoes from when she performed Enchanted. Then right next to that one is the pink dress with the blue belt which is from the Speak Now single cover art. Then we have the longer burgundy dress that she wore during Haunted on the tour. And speaking of Haunted, the big bell is also there but you can see it best in this behind the scenes photo when Taylor recreated the Spider-Man pointing meme with Taylor Lautner and his wife who's also named Taylor. And it seems like we also have the Haunted dress next to the big bell. And while we're on that picture on the opposite side of the bell is the green dress worn by Taylor's band member Caitlin on the tour during Mean. Now right here you'll see the dress she wore at the beginning of the Mine music video. And next to that is the white ruffled dress from the Mean music video which was also used for the single cover art. And across from that is of course Joey King's dress from the same music video along with a picture of her and Taylor and a banjo. Now another tour dress is the black one worn during Long Live along with the sparkly guitar and next to that looks like the dress she wore during Our Song and Mean. In between is the dress she wore during 15 and Love Story as well as the balcony she used to fly across the arenas for the encore. Here we have the peach dress she wore to the 2011 People's Choice Awards where she won Favorite Country Artist. Then during the fight scene we see two more dresses from the Mean music video. The one she wears to open the music video with the lace and then at the end of the video after she's all glitz up and glamoured we had the gold fringy dress that looks like it's just so fun to twirl in. Now when Taylor Lautner fights and shows off his bow staff moves he's of course in front of the Back to December display, it's only fitting. There's the white piano and the gown that she wore during that song on tour. And in front of the piano is the guitar that she used for 15 on the Speak Now tour. There's also what I originally thought was the hoodie and jeans from Should Have Said No, but that kind of seemed out of place since, you know, it's a Speak Now museum. Although I thought maybe there could be other Easter eggs in there for other albums, but it definitely does seem like it's mainly Speak Now. But upon closer look and different angles, that is a bomber jacket because of the fluffy collar and the jeans from the what the guy wore in the Back to December music video. On the same display, there's also the red electric guitar she used during mine on the tour, and that is also featured on the cover for the Speak Now tour CD and DVD. Then the gown and shoes are from the 2011 American Music Awards where she took home three awards. 
rewards. Okay, now those are the ones that I spotted on my own when we first saw the video. One thing I do love about this Swifty community is if you can't figure out one thing, there's always someone else online who definitely can. So we meld our brains together and we come up with this massive list of all these outfits. So a big thank you to Early Springs Now and Sam is not okay on Twitter and others that replied to them for their detective work on the outfits that I couldn't identify right off the bat. So it seems like the consensus on the silver one here is from when she performed at Times 100 Most Influential People Gala in 2010, and it seems like she also wore it at the Nashville Rising Benefit. Now, it's hard to see the details, and the silver dress in those pictures has like these diamond studded lines or something like that. I can't really tell if they have that in the video, uh, in the music video version or not, but you know, she wore a lot of silver sparkly dresses, so sometimes they all just run together. And across from that is a pink floral dress that Twitter seems to think is from this photo in the Speak Now tour book. Now we have some outfits worn on the Asian and European leg of the Speak Now tour, including this white one, this sparkly one that I think also comes with a skirt, and then this blue version of the familiar purple dress. Now in the back here, it looks like a yellow one, and Swifty detectives have said that this looks like the one Taylor wore when she was spotted in Maine while she was filming her music video for Mine. Now because we aren't seeing the video clear in like 4K or higher resolution, I feel like there's some outfits that are just too blurry that we won't be able to identify, but if you can please let me know if you spot them and what they are, let me know because I just spent like an hour and a half or more actually scouring Taylor Swift fan sites that had pictures from 2010 and 2011, and from the TV appearances, from everything, to see if I can match some of these. And there's still some that I cannot figure out. These include the red dress, which I found a lot of red dresses, but none kind of share the same neckline and width of the shoulder part. The closest I'm kind of finding is from the Lorax press junket, but I don't think that that's it, because I don't know, the dress in the music video looks a little bit shinier. There's also this long, what looks like white or maybe a light tan gown, but it's too far away and blurry to see the details. There's also a short dark dress next to that. Then there's these in the back corner. We have a short dress and then one that looks like another version of the Purple Speak Now dress, but the bottom seems a little more flared out and rufflier, but maybe this is also just a second version of that purple dress. Like I said, uh, she had multiples of each dress on tour, so maybe that's what this one is. Next to that, it looks like a gold or yellowish dress that has a red sash around the waist that dangles, and I can't tell what's next to that one. Then on the opposite side, we have this red skirt with a white or maybe pink what looks like tube top, and at first I thought this could be from the 1989 era, what she wore to like one of the iHeartRadio music festivals, but it doesn't look as white as that outfit does, and it also seems like there's this line maybe going down the center of the top, and these could also just be connected, so I'm not sure what this outfit is. There's also another red short one in the back corner with another dress. And it's like, man, I wish this was an actual museum display that we could actually walk through. I would probably pay money to see that, just the whole Taylor Swift museum, but I just wish we got this in crystal clear, like, zoom in so that we could see all these outfits, because I really do want to know what they all are. If only they had put little signs down at the bottom like an actual museum probably does, right? Um, I'm waiting for her to put out a behind the scenes making of, like I hope she does that so that we can get like a walkthrough tour, because I feel like she would be like, this is the dress that I wore here, and this is the dress I wore here. That would be amazing. Please do that, Taylor Swift, please, please. Otherwise, I'm gonna sit here and still continue to browse the internet until I get an answer about what some of these outfits are because I looked at commercials, I looked at magazine scans, TV appearances, and I still can't find some of them. But yeah, if you can identify any of these last blurry ones, please let me know. Or if there's still any that I missed, uh, yeah, definitely let me know. It's a team effort, y'all. Let's do this. Anyways, let me know what you thought about the I Can See You music video and what song you hope gets a music video next, maybe from that album. Do we think we're gonna get another one from the Speak Now vault tracks or anything? Also, if you missed my other Easter eggs video, you can check that out right over here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm always sitting here talking about either Taylor Swift or movies and TV. As always, I'm Lisa. Thanks for listening to me ramble, and I'll see you next time.